I was recently speaking with a wife who's caring for her husband with memory loss and he had been in the hospital for back surgery. And she explained to me all of the clinical staff who were going in and out of his room and she wasn't sure if they knew that he had memory loss. And she kind of questioned that each time a new staff member or dining services came in or the cleaning staff came in, she kept questioning, do they know about this diagnosis of memory loss? It's so critical uh, to who he is and to how they can provide care for him. Uh, and then she went on to share that she found herself really advocating for her husband by whispering to the staff right before they went into his room. I want to let you know a little bit more about my husband and what he's dealing with right now. And I just found that story so humbling um, and really verifies why the Purple Flower Project is needed. There are three components of our Purple Flower Project. The first is an indicator, likely a magnet with the image of a purple flower that will be placed inside the patient room. This magnet serves as an indicator for the clinician team and other caregivers that the patient is dealing with memory loss and will need to be approached differently. The second component includes training that we will provide for our team members in the acute care setting. We will use the TIPA SNOW principles for a positive approach to care. This evidence-based training is applicable to all team members who might come in contact with or support memory care patients. Many of our patients come in from home or from a skilled nursing facility and they're put into a foreign environment. They're put into a patient room that has different bells and whistles going off. There's strange lighting. It, it causes a lot of anxiety and it causes um, some real challenges for that patient, their caregiver and the clinical team. And this is an opportunity where we're now going to have tools in our tool belt that we're going to be able to implement and help our teams have a better understanding of how to best communicate with these individuals and how to decrease that anxiety and allow us to have um, an enhanced experience. The final component of the project includes providing resources to the family caregivers. These materials will outline the work we are doing inside our facilities and will help them continue this work at home. Additionally, we will connect caregivers with education and programs available at Riverside designed specifically for families caring for loved ones with dementia in order to make it easier to navigate this diagnosis. Our mission statement at Riverside Health System is to care for our patients the way we care for those we love. And this pilot program that we're going to be implementing really gives us that opportunity. It empowers us with tools that we need on a daily basis to really provide that care that's holistic, that's uh, reassuring, that's going to decrease the anxiety that these folks are coming in with and really help us um, deliver that level of care that we're so proud of here at Riverside.